So this is the airless sprayer I'm using. It's a 395. It's a Graco 395. It's your baseline, a very dependable uh, sprayer for painters. This is a fine finish tip that I'm using for the doors. So to set up the machine, a lot of people ask me about the setup. And I'll just tell you that this is your inlet, your intake right here, the pipe with the large net on the bottom. This is your outlet. So we're gonna take in and this is gonna come out. And so we're priming it first. We're priming, it's down, right? So we'll turn it on and we'll wait till paint comes out of here. At first you'll see some red stuff. Okay, come on now, red, 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 red. Okay, baby, let's get that nice paint out and then we'll, we'll stop it. Okay, we don't wanna waste paint. We know that we've got our paint is in the system. Okay, so now we can go from prime to spray. We're gonna take this, as long as it's clean, we're gonna put it in the paint, okay? So that if anything comes out, when we release the pressure and put it back into prime to take a break or to shut it down, when this lets out a splurge of paint, we want it to go into the paint and not into waste because we, we don't want to lose anything, okay? So now I'm going to put it into the spray mode. I'm going to turn it on, bring my pressure up. And now I'm going to do to my spray hose what I did to the machine. So I got some animals. I'm going to use their bag to catch the paint when it comes out as color. So you see that my lubricant is coming out of the machine. I could do this right in here. You'll see the same thing. Okay, so. See where we're at. So this is 50 feet of hose. I'm getting all of the storage lubricant out of it. You'll start seeing it turn white. And that's why I was sticking it in the bag. You see it turning white now? We don't want that all over the, all over the yard. Let's get it out. Okay. Are we white? Yeah, we're white. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to give my doors a mist coat. I highly suggest you consider using a thin layer of shellac on these very old doors. These doors are dry. Okay, you have them in your house too? Look when they were made. Woo! Who was around then? Put a note in the bottom, 1985. Were you around? Okay, okay, I'm just looking for a thin coat. That's it, that's all I want. This will dry up nice and quickly. And I'm holding the sprayer about 12 inches because I got a little wind out here about 12 inches from the surface just to just to get the pores of this wood wet okay and remember we're dealing this is the first coat it's a mist coat of primer okay let's let that dry while the mist coat dries which shouldn't take long if you use a sprayer a lot or even if you don't the time that the machine is down okay you want to do two things one remember your pressure that's working for you if your numbers are no longer on the machine, if this pressure works for you, you may want to put a piece of tape there to remember it, okay? Because when you put this into prime, you'll release the pressure in the machine and the material, if you don't have it in the right place, is going to come out. That's why I said put this inside with the paint 
because when we drop it into prime and release the pressure, because we're taking a break, right? This is letting out paint. So now, if you don't remember this, and you shut it off, you'll release the pressure and you'll be set for a break so that when you come back, you just do the opposite. You put this back into the spray mode and you bring your pressure back up to normal. Okay, so we went from our primer and I used clear water to purge the system of the white paint. And then I plugged this in the same order in which you saw me do it with the primer. I now did it with the blue paint. And so we're ready to spray with the blue paint. My fine finish tip is ready. My, I'm set at about 1600 to 1800 in pressure. Ideally, somebody could be behind you helping you with this hose so it doesn't jerk the, tr uh, the, uh, the gun like this as this thing moves, ideally. Okay, obviously the first order of business with these doors is to put a thin coat on these louvers because that's where it's going to take the greatest amount of attention. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to start off of the doors so I don't spit onto the doors with my sprayer. And as you can see, I'm spraying in the direction of the louvers. In other words, my sprayer is pointed so that I can get the paint into these areas. Okay? I don't want to put any more paint on. I want this to dry. Let's do the other side. all I want. I want that to dry and I want it thin enough so it'll dry quickly. That's the way I do it folks. How, how do you guys do it? Whoa, what was that? 